Hey guys, so we're gonna start a, a little segment called What Is. Um, we're always being asked things daily. We answer probably 40, 50 uh, messages a day. And it's always, what is this for? What does this do? Uh, what is this do? Okay, that's kind of stupid. Oh, what does this do? Um, but you get the point. So I'm gonna name it, What Is. Um, I've been asked recently by a couple people about KV and microamps. Uh, so I'm gonna go and uh, explain it to you the way it was explained to me and hopefully it helps you understand okay so first of all disclaimer I'm not an artist nor do I claim to be an artist nor am I even good at art so bear with me so our machines we have two machines we have the KKHD uh, that they say you can adjust the Microamps and you can adjust the KV. The only issue is you kind of have to do it before you even put powder in it. Um, you have to hold it up in the air, pull the trigger, adjust one. Then you have to put it against uh, ground, pull the trigger, adjust the other. And then when you start working, you don't have um, numbers. So if you're adjusting a little bit, you're not even though the machine's showing you numbers, it's not truly adjustable. Our X1 machine, different story. It gives you the numbers right on it. You're able to adjust, you're able to see. Next time you're able to put in the same one, okay? So this is how I understand KV. This is uh, a gentleman explained it to me when I first started because I was having a hard time knowing when do I adjust the KV? When do I adjust the, the microamps? Why do I adjust them? How do I adjust them and all that stuff, okay? So what we, he, how he explained it to me is he goes, uh, first, your KV is charging your particles. So your KV is charging your powder, okay? And your microamps is the power behind it. So a terminology he used me, he goes, okay, you take a punch. He goes, if you just punch like that, it doesn't hurt, okay? He said, that's KB. KB is the punch. He goes, okay, you put microamps behind it, which is the power, okay, this is low microamps. He goes, turn the microamps up. He goes, then you can knock somebody out. He goes, so the microamps is the power that is pushing the particles. So what I do, and I've always done this since our conversation, sometimes I'll put my KV on 100, but not really with this machine. I try to keep it at 50, and I really don't have to adjust my KV. Uh, so I put my KV at 50 because that's what uh, Prismatic suggests for the KV. You can start with your, your microamps on zero, okay? You hit the powder, you hit your part, it's gonna fall, okay? Turn up your microamps. Try it again, turn up your microamps, try it again until it sticks. The thing a lot of people I see that are doing is they have their microamps high, okay, it automatically sticks, but since you have so much power in there, now you're getting back ionization, okay? So, and then they turn around and turn the KV down, which you don't wanna turn the K, that KV down, it's your microamps. So the best habit to get in is turn up your microamps, okay, until you get powder if you do that you should not have to deal with back ionization as long as you keep your gun apart from uh, your hand okay so um, if you're dealing with back ionization drop your microamps if you're dealing with it not getting enough raise your microamps um, so like I said if you spray it say you start on 30 okay it's not attaching I go to 40 not attaching I go to 50 up it's attaching Okay, you're good. And trust me, you ain't gonna get that high with microamps. I should have used like five, 10, and 15, um, but that's just an example. Uh, so as soon as you, if you can do it, the low end of your microamps, you shouldn't have to deal with back ionization. So uh, just go every five or whatever, uh, nothing, five more, nothing, five more, nothing, five more, uh, it's sticking, you're done. Um, I hope this helped and please, if anybody else uh, has a better, terminology a better uh explanation like um i just used the punch one please put in a comment i'd love to hear different things because if there's something easier out there to explain to somebody when i'm asked i would love to use that um but the punch one so far is the best one that i've heard um so please 
uh, and it, feel free in the comments to go ahead and uh, put your two cents in. Um, okay, guys, uh, I'll see you on the next What Is. Bye.